Hi guys, thank you for joining me at Kids Connection at St. Paul's. Um, my name is Jamie Turk. I'm the Director of Children and Family Ministries. And you guys, I have missed you so much. I'm so glad that you're joining me today. And I hope that you will join me um, via Zoom. We've been having meetings on Wednesdays at 11 a.m. for all ages. And then on um, Sundays at 6 p.m. for our kids 4, 5, 6 which is um, our kids who are in fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. And that's a really great time and way for us to still, see, still, still, still <laughs> see each other and connect um, and just have a good time together. But um, today we're going to talk a little bit about um, a special gift. So have you guys ever received a gift that you're like, oh my gosh, this is the best thing I've ever received in my whole life? The story today is kind of like that. Actually, not kind of, it is. So here we go, here's our friends at Deep Blue. is Layla from Deep Blue News, and we're here in Deep Blue Shores, where a group of children from the church are helping the recent flood victims by putting together flood buckets. Let's talk to some of them. Hi there, Caleb. What are you doing exactly? We're putting supplies in the bucket so we can send them to people affected by the flood. Am I on TV? Hey, everybody! Kat, how are you helping today? I'm getting all the bug spray together for each bucket so we can make sure the families can keep yucky mosquitoes away. I'm in charge of rope. I'm getting the scouring pads together. Edgar, what makes you excited to participate in this project? Oh, that's easy. We're doing this because we're called to follow the example of Jesus who always helped people. Peter and John were making their way to the temple so they could pray. As they headed for the temple, there was a man who had never walked, being carried to the gates. The man was brought there every day so that he could ask for money. Peter and John noticed the man and they told him that they didn't have any money to give him, but instead they healed him in the name of Jesus. The man was healed and he got up and started jumping up and down praising God. The man followed Peter and John into the temple to worship. Everyone who saw the man was amazed. They knew that this man had never walked before. It was a miracle. The people ran up to Peter and John, wondering how this had happened. Peter asked, why are you surprised by this? Don't you know that God sent us Jesus? Peter told them that the man was healed in Jesus' name. Then he told them to change their hearts and lives. The people in charge at the temple were upset that Peter and John were preaching about Jesus. But Peter and John weren't ever going to stop telling everyone about God's love. So, the people in charge threw them in jail. The leaders realized they couldn't keep Peter and John in jail. So, they let them go. All right, everyone, this is the last flood bucket. I feel sad for the people that need them, but I'm glad we are able to do something to help. Now what? Now, these flood buckets will be loaded on a truck and sent out to the people in need. It is really going to help them. I hope they know how much we care. I know they will, Caleb. This is a very special thing you are doing. We want to be like Jesus and do what he wants us to do. Kids, are you ready to help me take these buckets out to the truck? Yeah! yeah! How do you serve others? So, how can we change our hearts and lives? What can we do? We want to be like Jesus and help others, right? I know I do, don't you? How do you serve others? I know sometimes it's hard to know how to serve others. What can we do? 
um, especially being stuck at home. Well, I know of one way that St. Paul's is helping to serve others, and that's by writing thank you notes or drawing pictures or cards to our postal workers and also um, our delivery people. Um, almost everything we're buying at our house comes from Amazon or from a grocery store where somebody is delivering the items to us because we're not we're not going out we're staying home and um, those people who are doing that essential work are really um, doing us a service and we want to show our gratitude and I think that Jesus would be super thankful and show his love to those people and we want to be like Jesus so we can do that too I can't wait to see um, what you guys come up with and how you show Jesus's love this week Hi everybody, this is our Bible verse for the new month of May. As for us, we can't stop speaking about what we have seen and heard. Acts 4.20 Won't you pray with me? Dear God, thank you for loving us. Thank you for loving us no matter who we are, where we are, what we're doing. Thank you for being there for us. Help us to be like Jesus this week and to serve others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a great week, guys. See you later.